Breaking news to bring you. Police and the county executive are holding a press conference. Sources telling CBS2 police have made an arrest in the Gilgo Beach murders investigation. Let's listen in. That uh, law enforcement has out here in Suffolk County. Uh, I do have to take advantage of this opportunity and thank uh, the teamwork, the effort, the work by all the members of the task force uh, allowing us to get to this point today. Uh, it was a collaborative effort. Um, it, the resilient work that was done allowed us to place somebody into custody. But once again, is this, uh, there will be a, a lot more detailed press conference later on today, 4 o'clock, uh, out in Riverhead at the district attorney's office. I'm going to pass it over to our county executive, Steve Ballone. Thank you, Commissioner. This is my 12th year as county executive. I've uh, lived with the uh, Gilgo Beach investigation for my entire tenure uh, as county executive. And I can tell you that during that time, uh, the focus um, for me, the members of our team, have been on bringing justice for these victims and closure to these families who have suffered. Today's developments take us a major step forward in doing exactly that. Uh, I want to thank all the members of law enforcement, uh, but particularly here today, the Suffolk County Police Department, Commissioner Rodney Harrison. When I nominated Commissioner Harrison, I specifically spoke about one of the, the most important factors, and that is his background, his investigative background, his former chief of detectives uh, in the NYPD, former chief of former chief of department in the NYPD, uh, and that the focus that he would bring to the investigation. And he did that right from the start, even before he started visiting the site where the bodies were discovered, releasing strategically new information, reconstituting the Gilgo Investigative Task Force. Um, and bringing together uh, those law enforcement partners. And I want to thank all of our law enforcement partners. Certainly, I want to thank District Attorney Ray Tierney and his team for their great work. I want to thank the New York State Police, the FBI, and all of the law enforcement partners who have worked on this case for so many years. I want to thank our former police commissioners, Commissioner Tim Sini, uh, who then was followed by Police Commissioner Jerry Hart when he was elected District Attorney. Commissioner Hart is former head of the FBI. When Commissioner Sini came in to office, he immediately reengaged federal law enforcement. And that was Jerry Hart, again, the head of the FBI. When she took over as police commissioner, she continued to work with District Attorney Sini. And he continued to work to advance the case. And now here we are today with this arrest taking place, this major development in the case, and moving closer to that goal that we have all been working towards. I want the public to know, I think the message to the public is that, that we have never stopped working on this case. There are uh, police officers, Suffolk police officers, who started working on this case, who have retired now. Uh, but their efforts, their dedication, it has never stopped, putting more resources into the case. There are people who talked about this case never getting to this point, never getting to this resolution that we see today, this development that we should see today. But it was the non-stop dogged determination of the men and women of the Suffolk County Police Department, our investigators, and our partners in law enforcement, including the Nassau County Police Department. I want to thank Commissioner Ryder. All of that work never stopped. 
and a message to the men and women of the Suffolk County Police Department. My thanks to you and, and specifically the investigators here and the team working under Commissioner Harrison. I've always been incredibly proud of the men and women of this department. This is one of the finest law enforcement agencies in the nation and the world. And I'm proud of the work that they've done here to bring us this much closer. The work is not done. And you will hear more details on that later today. The work is not done here, but this is a major, major step forward in achieving the goal that we have had from the beginning. And that is, again, to bring closure to these families and to bring justice to the victims in this case. There'll be more to discuss later. Thank you very much. We're not going to uh, take any additional questions at this time. There'll be more to discuss later. Thank you very much. We've been listening to the county executive and police commissioner speak about an arrest in the Gilgo Beach murders investigation. We understand one suspect is in custody, expected to be indicted this afternoon, and police say they will hold another press conference around 3 or 4 o'clock. Of course, we will bring you the very latest. Stay with CBS News throughout the day as we continue to update you on this investigation and the arrest. I'm Mary Calvi. Much more coming up at noon.